This time we're going to look at how we cut an angle in half, or bisect an angle to use the right word. Bisect means cut in half. Well, you could get a ruler and draw some lines, but I see that's pretty hit and miss and it's not going to work. We're going to have to find a better way of doing that, especially as we are not allowed to use the protractor. We have to use ruler and compass only. But let's think of it in a slightly different way first. That's a familiar shape to you. You should recognize that as a kite. And you should also know that a kite has a line of reflection symmetry down its diagonal, just like that line there. Because it's uh, symmetrical both halves, the two angles at the bottom have been cut in half by the diagonal. Now, let's uh, flip that uh, kite onto its side, get our angle back, and sort of manipulate it into position. And now, if we were to draw the diagonal of the kite, that would make those two angles equal. So if we got rid of the kite, we would have got our angle bisector. We would have found a line which divides the angle there into two equal halves. But clearly, that's not the way we're going to do it. Let's see what we actually do. Well, we take our compass and we draw an arc like that. Now, how big should it be? Well, that's a matter of practice. Uh, but, you know, certain distance along both of the uh, lines. It must cross both of the lines. Now, it doesn't matter if we change the opening on our compass for the next bit. But from here, we draw an arc like that. Now, we mustn't change the opening now to draw from here. The opening of the compass for these two arcs must be the same. Now we've got a crossover point between these two arcs, and that's the key point that we're going to use, because that's what's going to give us our angle bisector. Let's just check on that. Well, first of all, those two sides are equal because they're both radiuses of this part circle, or this sector. Those two lines are equal. Why? Because we didn't change the opening on the compass uh, for drawing them. So they had the same opening on the compass, they must be equal in length. And so look, we've got our kite back. And our kite tells us that the two angles at the bottom are the same. And so we've got our angle bisector. Now this is important. If you answer this question on paper, don't rub out the construction lines. Construction lines are the arcs you've drawn with your compass. Don't rub them out. And the reason for that is that an examiner or somebody marking your tests is going to want to see how you did your construction, how you actually drew your angle bisector. Let's look at another angle and do it uh, another time, quickly this time. First of all, draw an arc crossing both lines, then from this point, another arc, and then without changing the opening on the compass, from this point, another arc. Now join up uh, the crossover point of those two arcs with the original point in the angle and we've got two equal angles. You can imagine a kite sitting in that shape now. Two equal angles which is an, and the line which splits the angle in two is called the angle bisector. Once again remember do not rub out the construction lines.